So this is the campaign level. Uh, and you can see some fodder there. You get to fight a Revenant. These are all enemies you would expect if you're playing the game through the campaign. Right. And you can see he's doing the dance pretty properly here. <laughs> he's lighting him up. He's getting that armor. But it looks like he's, he's, he's handling but up on that pretty well. Lots of zombies, basically, right there. Yeah. This is the master level. Come in a Mancubus, a Cyber Mancubus. We're cutting through here. You're going to see Hugo play this. Arachnatron, even a Tyrant back there in the background coming up here. I feel like that Cyber Demon barely fits, so he looks super imposing <laughs> out here. Yeah, a lot of work was done to make sure that we could pull this off at the end. Uh, so we, we actually designed every level to be able to account for enemies of this size. We would never be able to do this in Doom 2016 because the early levels were actually pretty small because you didn't have a lot of super heavies in them. Yeah. So even if we wanted to, we couldn't do this. So we planned Get this it. from the beginning. Tremendous work uh, done by the team. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's, so, it's so worth it. It's so much fun. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, let's just play. Yeah, Come let's on. just do it. <laughs> Enough talk. So, uh, yes. Uh, can they see my screen? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, can so you ahead. guys? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Cool. There we go. Awesome. So, this is the one of the space. one of the things that you're gonna want to do. So this is this is Doom. Uh, on a black belt level, you're going to want to definitely get used to this, which is, yes, I'm playing on a controller, and it is inverted. I um, love this. You're you like a pilot <laughs> right now. Just customized controller. You have different settings, and uh, this is really important. So then I like to take uh, switch equipment, which is normally on this directional pad, and I put it on the left thumbstick so I could do it really fast and switch between ice bomb uh, and grenade. This is actually totally new for Doom Eternal. I, mean, I know we're talking about master yeah. levels, but in 2016, we didn't let you uh, customize controllers completely. So yes. really a nice accessibility and, and just uh, you know play your way type of uh, yep. feature here. Totally. I love it. So really important because you're going to need to be switching. Uh, now, this is, this is how I like to play. Uh, some people like to put on the left thumbstick uh, anything they want. You can reconfigure this however you want. Yeah, I switch uh, mods on the left thumbstick. Yeah, you could also reconfigure your uh, weapon wheel. So if you want to delete what? things, right, like, yeah, it's crazy. So th there's an absurd amount of customization uh, wow. in the game. It's, it's completely crazy, uh, the amount of stuff that you could do. So then you can basically put all the things in the weapon wheel in kind of like the quickest order of your like main offenders of like, this is my favorite weapon, then I like to switch to that, I like to switch to that. That's amazing. So uh, in this case, I'm going to have everything unlocked. Okay. And I have every single gun mastered with all of the mods. And so you'll get to see everything. And then I'm going to customize my runes. This, this one is, is super important to me. This is literally as if Hugo had 100% of the, the game prior to coming into this master level. So yeah. you really, I mean, like, this is, <laughs> this is maxed out. So what I like to use is uh, increased movement control while in the air, and I like to use uh, perform glory kills faster, and then I like my equipment to recharge uh, faster. Uh, it's hard not to pick this one, too, because it gives you health when you blood punch guys. But uh, I'm just going to go with this for now. Sometimes I change it up. Yeah, you'll be fine. Sometimes I use the speed boost one after glory kill. So yeah, we'll I mean, it sounds like you're, you're push forward plus plus <laughs> plus right now. Look at that auto map. That thing is Beautiful. awesome. Yeah. It's amazing. All right, so this is Cult of Space, correct? So yeah, this is Cult of Space. Cult of space. Uh, third map in the game again. Really, really early. And, and uh, you know... Right here in the in the uh, first time you play the level, you're, there's a couple zombies, so. And you already got a caca demon. Yeah, like, already feeling the challenge. In the first few seconds. Just wanna get your air control going. I've played this level so many times, and thinking about a revenant in like this, like nice quiet. That was zone. pretty skillful double weak point that takeout right point. there, with the, the <laughs> sticky Ooh. bomb and then the the hard scope. That was weird. Deleted him. Got him. There it is. It's a great glory kill. Oh, you knew that was gonna happen. Oh. I see what you did there. That was <laughs> nice.
I love that you guys are such masochists that you somehow put hazards on, on climbing. All right. <laughs> climbing That's holes. insane. So uh, normally when we test these, we play them on Hurt Me Plenty, and no one's actually ever played these on Nightmare. Should I play it on Nightmare? Yes. What do you think? Yeah. But I'm on a controller, and all the mouse and keyboard people say that I can't do this. <laughs> well, oh, no. So I think they're wrong. It's probably going to be too much. And it's even inverted after that. My god. I thought that was it. So, okay. <laughs> oh! oh. I, I, okay. I, it's, it's, That's, you need a mouse going and keyboard? <laughs> uh, are they right? I, I don't know. Something's going on. Okay. I do have to call out our fast load times. It, it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, like, that's absolutely insane. Yeah. You were in that thing just seconds later. I mean, look at how many enemies are loading right now. So, Hugo, how are you usually walking through this Doom Dance of, like, the prioritization here? You always talk about prioritizing targets. What are you prioritizing when there's, like, 30 on the screen? I got to be honest, there's no way I'm talking <laughs> to you right now. <laughs> that's the right answer. I cannot. You maybe should have warmed up a no, little bit before the night. Can it be done? There, there's, the stick. there's probably stick. some dust in there. Yeah, There's an old controller. Yeah, it's funny. It's like a little bit of like... That's the thing. It takes such... Uh, you, you really got to be used to the controls. Been practicing back there. Ah. Uh. It's okay. A little wrecked. Nightmare. It's <laughs> nightmare. Yes. It's like your actual nightmare right now. Yeah, it's now. supposed to be. This is Hugo's nightmare. Welcome back. Starting strong with the Ballista. Disabling those destructible demon spots. Oh, very nice freeze. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, my. That was the ice bomb there that froze everybody. I feel like that ice Again. bomb to the super shotgun just is deleting the heavy. Yeah, demons. it's fantastic. Yep. Ooh. See, I think you guys are getting the way the game works. Everybody's cheering every time a weak point's hit. Yep, telling you. It's amazing, yeah. It's really satisfying, too. I mean, I can't... Hugo's that, like, that, yes, it is satisfying. He's it, it's it. so satisfying to hit a weak point. Well, it's, it's another credit to the sound team, too. Like, all of the little, like, cues that you get for the fact that you've hit those. Yep, yep absolutely. It really is. You get that instant feedback. Oh, the cyber demon! What are you gonna yeah, do? He's pissed off. <laughs> I mean, you can hear fodder. every single time that that's the that's the uh, tyrant locking you up there. That's right. Oh god! So there's something's Charged going on with the. Oh, oh, that that's a bug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. It, it, it is. It, it delayed. I I felt that on the when I was practicing there. That's good support. Yep. That's what you do for a friend. <laughs> I, I will say, he's he's making this tough on himself. He literally could whip out the crucible on that tyrant true. and take him out almost immediately. Ooh. So you really feel like a sense of relief when that tower falls. Oh yeah, absolutely. Of the cyber demon. All right, I was a little nervous. How about now? And he did it, guys. Let's hear it for Hugo. Come on. Pretty that, good. No, that was nothing. It was awesome. <laughs> that was nothing. So. There is a little bit of a bug on the on the BFG, but that's that's already been solved. So in the level, there's also just a ton of secrets. We're gonna show them one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see it. Just punching his way into everything here. Okay. Oh, very ominous. Looks like the prison cell is open. What's it gonna reveal? Oh, uh, well, there it's wouldn't be a secret up there. There's actually <laughs> a central <laughs> battery up there. On the master level, there's a thing up there. So, so little pro tip, like, this is key. Like, basically, you have to be able to constantly move because on Nightmare, every single enemy is, is going to be throwing heavy shots at you uh, every second. So you can actually, if you master, like, having to, how to stay alive in a tight little space and kind of do the dance with the enemies, uh, that's critical to, to the play in Nightmare. Dash too, so, right? I mean, that's dash all of it, but but yeah. definitely it's these little microcircle movements uh, that really throw up. Because uh, just think, every single enemy uh, in the level is is targeting you at that moment. Welcome 
So this is basically like the next level of circle strafing now, now right? Because you've got the normal one you're, you're doing, you know, casually, it's still tough to do, and now you're adding dash to that with two of those. This is just bananas. That looks like a hero pose right nice. there. You got him. Frozen Dread Knight? Caught him in the Heisman. Yeah, you, you saw a good example there of him, like, of that swapping uh, equipment with the left uh, the left thumbstick. The equipment charges at, d at different rates, so it's a really great tactic and, and necessary when you're playing a master level to be able to swap between your ice bomb and your grenade really quick and, and use them in concert with each other. So you don't have to wait for that cooldown of one of them. Yeah, the you don't have to wait for the cooldown for the other one. Yeah, that is a high level strat. So you see how I kind of like nervously, I'm just, I'm always doing this. And you really want to get good at, you know, just quick scoping things. This is the most absurd hallway ever. <laughs> yeah, let's you, talk you have about triggers that, that yeah, that, that bring swinging blades through the hallway. It's amazing to, to bring lure demons down there and then take them out with the blades. Because the blades are an insta-kill if anything it hits, correct? They just eat them. Uh-oh. That carcass. You forget that the carcass actually has a really nasty attack. It's not just that wall oh. that up. Yeah, it should have taken the out that weak shields point. Shields and the rings. Yeah, right? you can't, you really can't leave point. the Arachnotron's uh, weak point. Okay. Got to take care of that cannon. Behind. I love that there's just a platform of demons just waiting. They're just, they've been waiting for the Slayer. They're just like, oh, there he is. Rounds, <laughs> and then they rise up. <laughs> Oh, very nice. Nice. That ice bomb right there is critical. Okay, so he's got rid of one, but wait, there's another Arachnotron. Because this is master levels. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yep. that, ah, that you carcass can feel is it. ready. That, that is one thing when you, play De uh, when you play Doom. You'll feel it. You'll have these moments where you're just like, ah, oh, I've just, it's, if, you've, if you've ever skied or something like that, you kind of like catch an edge and you're like, I'm going down. That, it happens all the time. You just feel like that one false move, particularly at Nightmare. Yeah. It's like you cannot make mistakes. But that's what's so satisfying is when you're doing it all It correctly. is, yeah. It's you get like... into this flow, and, and it's just amazing. <laughs> I love how he just replaced where the other enemy was. Yeah. Carcass came up. Arachnotron's like, you're not going to glory kill him, <laughs> actually. Ah! Oh. They're just ganging up on you. It's punishing. Yes. All this right. episode of Hugo's Nightmare, <laughs> Cultist Space, the master level. We can get one of the Celtics to come back here and help you out with <laughs> it. <Ew. laughs> They're actually busy playing basketball tonight, but, you know, we might be able to call in a favor. All right, Carcass is taken care of handedly. He's got him on fire. It's popping armor. Look at that. Look at this. A beautiful headshot. Look at this. He's got it. I love how you use the Arachnotron's little bomb that he shoots at you against him on that glory kill. It's fantastic. Got to get rid of that back cannon, though. Oh, no. You don't want to make it just to be close. That's for damn sure. Oh. That was a nice switch, too, from, again, from freeze buff ice bomb straight back to the actual regular grenade. Yes. Just totally negate that cooldown. I, I will say, Hugo's played Doom Eternal alone literally hundreds of hours. So... Like I, I think if you're a gamer and you're gonna you're gonna invest your money on Doom Eternal, yeah. Like to me, this is just like I'm gonna play this game for a really really long time yeah. because this is I mean it's it's thrilling and like the challenge. You don't have to play it on Nightmare. You can play it on easy. You just come back, play it again and again, and just get better and better and better and better. It's it's uh it, it's really a ton here. And speaking of investment, this level itself, Cult of Space, is actually has a pre-order incentive. If you get the deluxe edition, day yeah. one, you're going to have this yep. to play. Absolutely. Yep. Then we'll have new ones coming out all the time, which is yep. pretty cool. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. It's fun. It's, and uh, the designers are, have, have really kind of started to embrace this. And uh, they're even starting to come up with some ideas around changing some of the stuff inside the level a little bit. We can't, like, move walls and stuff. Yeah. but. Some really interesting things happening where you come back to a place like this and maybe play it, and it's all fog, you know, and you can't oh, even it. see the enemies move through. Ah! So new, all the all the dance that you've already yeah. mastered, like on the regular levels now, on a whole nother level. This is master levels. Ooh. Just a pip of health here, just a pip of armor. He's going to need to restock Stop. here. Oh, God. Selecting the BFG. <laughs> all right, Carcass, time to go. Oh, such a I nice bird combo. I think he's got it this time there. around. 
got past some some hurdles there. All right, so that Arachnatron. A lot of weak points taken out. Perfect chainsaw with the health. Oh, Ooh, that was, oh there wow. was a shot waiting for him when he landed. That Arachnatron's got to get taken care of. God, that satisfying hit of just knocking off that cannon on his arm. Very nice. Oh, oh God, almost through it. Ooh. Get it! Get it! Perfect. Let's just go. what you need. Let him hear it! That was just for oh, fun yeah. right there. <laughs> that was not even... Oh, Prowler's still around. You guys want to talk about the Prowler? Because you brought him back. He was actually not in the campaign for 2016. Right. He yeah, was he was only. in the multiplayer, right. Exactly. Yeah, he's, he's really cool. Uh, he he kind of teleports around, disappears, teleports around. Is, is a great enemy for getting behind the Slayer and pushing him around the map. If you're if you stand still for a second in an arena with a prowler, they're gonna they're gonna sneak up behind you and, and really deal some some pretty nasty melee damage. And I feel like like you just saw right there, even the smallest of fodder, their melee in eternal will like basically oh, in, in negate nightmare, your armor. like yeah, you just you can't get close to anything. Switching to lock on right there was awesome. I never thought that the Baron Ooh. could get somehow like more Lord. aggressive, but <laughs> when he's made of lava, yeah. essentially inside, and you don't want to be anywhere too. near this guy. Like that was oh yeah, the gore is incredible. Oh oh god! Ooh. <laughs> you just made a gymnast out of him there. <laughs> yeah, the whole destructible factor now is really awesome. So yeah. Start Plugging off different parts of the demons. Yeah. Yeah, it's not only beautiful, but you can you really get a sense. I think you can see it while you're watching it. How you know how, what what health level? It's almost like this this full body health bar for the demon. Yep. You want to talk about getting sweaty too? I feel like relieved right now when they're just <laughs> like taking these nice jumps, sort of dashing around freely. Like the level of sweatiness in master levels is high. high. Volume. Yeah. Sweat per second is like a high count, I feel. Switching to the rocket launchers. Looks like he was doing remote detonate on that too, which is a really nice touch. I love remote detonation with the rocket launcher because you don't have to be precise. Yeah, no, it's it's really, uh, it's it's one of my favorite mods. Um, and uh, I, I would say it's actually a little, um, it, it's one that's worth upgrading a lot, you know? because. Sure. We've we changed the rocket launcher a little bit to to have more much more direct damage. Yeah. Um. Less less on the splash damage, but also a lot of uh, self damage to just to kind of keep you honest with it. But uh, when you upgrade the remote detonation, it really does some awesome some awesome damage there. Especially because I feel like the the time it takes to travel, since everything is so tuned like tuned and turned up like AI wise. Yeah. Like having the, the bailout button, if I didn't get a direct hit and I can pop that, yeah. I feel like that's huge in this. It's it's Ooh. great for creating uh falters too. Like you'll you'll get a lot of enemies on a falter that then you can quickly swap to another weapon. Good example there, the extra life uh Hugo picked up gets used. Yeah, it does. He's got a good amount of actually ammo to work with right here. Burning him down with a blue stone. Oh, Poor pain elemental. Meatball down. <laughs> We've got a whole mode actually called extra life mode that uh, it's like ultra nightmare where if you die, you have to restart the whole game or, or the level. Um, but you can find extra lives and those will keep you alive. So that's really awesome. totally, totally new way to play the game there too. That's probably actually a really, really good way to kind of like tune up and make sure you're ready for ultra nightmare. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. Ultra Nightmare is really tough this time around. <laughs> the game's twice as big, so you're, I mean, it, it's, it, it's, it's a challenge. It's a long it's rough, run. yeah. And it's permadeath. It's so. permadeath, yeah. Yikes. I cannot wait to see that in the hands of everybody, but especially speedrunners are probably just like salivating. Yeah. You no, know, we can't wait. I mean, a big part of, uh, of what we've done with Doom Eternal in general is to really think oh. about. Oh. <laughs> you dropped your super shotgun, you got to pick it up. <laughs> you gotta pick it up. <laughs> uh, we focused a lot on watchability. You know, it's it's uh, when we made Doom 2016, it was just kind of like, I mean, Twitch was around, but it was it it, it was it was the first game that we'd made kind of in the Twitch era. Yeah. And and you know, we were focusing a lot on rebuilding Doom uh, as a as a game. 
this one we really we talk about it all the time like what what is going to be compelling for people to stream compelling for people to watch and as you can see i mean this is just it's so much fun to watch oh, yeah. and and we know people are going to love intense. like streamers are going to have a lot of opportunities whether it's master levels or ultra nightmare runs or extra life uh mode runs uh to to get out there and and uh, really create some very very compelling content and okay, i feel I like part of it that, that the learning freaking aspect. amazing it's awesome oh like God. all that mid-air switching oh my god and I feel like, even though when I saw 2016, I was like, this is the most beautiful game I've ever seen, and right. I thought the colors were amazing, and then you see Eternal, yeah, and it looks like you were watching it on like a beta tape or something. I know. Again, I'm a, this is a boomer stream now, because we're talking about VHS and beta. <laughs> yeah. But I, I got to say, like, again, from a watchability standpoint, it's so clear how the I don't want to shoot that thing. <laughs> Why are you doing that? It's fighting you. Sorry. You designed it this way, and now it's against you. Oh my god, that Baron is imposing. Oh, gotta get out. Yeah, it's not a good hallway. Oh my. Oh, there's so many ground pounds. <laughs> Two Barons is a lot rough. Yeah. <laughs> now bear in mind, he doesn't have a lot of health Whoa. right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, missed it. Whoa. Oh, swing and a miss. He went right by. Who's it gonna be? He's looking for the Baron. Oh, and he switches away. Wait, there it is. Oh. Ooh. I don't think he's getting up. Oh my! You'll see there. Your your uh, crucible basically has ammo. You have you have three three uh, pips that you uh, that you have, and then you find more ammo throughout the world. That was a heck of a teleport away. Yeah. But Jason and I were just talking about this the other day. Like the way that you guys use color to differentiate, like. The actual levels itself, all the gorgeous artwork going on. Yeah. The enemies, and then every single, like, how green armor is, how blue health is, and, like, the way that fire works, how things are on fire. It's, like, watchable wise, it's so clear to see how skillful the things that are happening on screen are happening. Yeah, now. yeah absolutely. Like, you, I mean, you can see everything. Like, this is crazy, crazy gameplay. We always talk about it, you know, Doom is a Ferrari. <laughs> this is the Ferrari being driven at like 250 miles an hour. This is like and, Hugo and Andretti basically right, right now? Yeah. On a controller that's inverted. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, we, you when we talk I... about how, how loud things have to be, how we're, we're not afraid, this this is great. This is like, this is the Doom Hunter right here. And he is, he is really hard. Yeah. Um, oh God. Oh, a Doom Hunter at this early stage. This is level yeah, three I mean, this remix. Is, yeah. This is really this is tough stuff. But you can see how, how important all of this stuff is, whether it's the, the color of your HUD or the ammo pouring out or knowing, exactly. like you said, that the, that the health is blue when you do the glory kills. You're, you're literally making decisions every microsecond. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's critical that all this information is really, really clear on the screen. But again, also, like, like you guys were saying, and this is like a Saturday morning cartoon, I love so much how it's like, this game is not hiding the fact that it's a video game and it's super fun and it's super clear and easy to understand like how these things are working. So again, if you die, it isn't at all. Oh, how the hell did that happen? There's a clear yeah, path absolutely. to understand. You, you always, it's, it's critical when you're playing that, uh, you know, the game, you never feel like you were screwed over by the game. You, you realize, you know, I made a mistake. You know, I backed up into a, a prowler. I, I, you know, I used, I, I misflicked to a, a gun that I didn't want. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's it's the thrilling part of uh, part of the experience because you you just you really do get yeah. like it, it's in your control. It's true. Oh my God! Let's give him a hand. Come on! Wow! Woo. Need a cigarette? <laughs> Dude, I need. Uh, I need a uh, light it up. Let's go. Need a Valium. <laughs> it's like I'll see you tomorrow. So these are the. Some of the traversal puzzles. Ah, missed. <laughs> Just in case everybody didn't see it, I thought I'd call it out. <laughs> <laughs> and again, monkey bars being a new crazy ass way in Doom Eternal specifically to traverse. And it just gives you a whole nother level of like throwing you around the map to let you use those double jumps, let you those dashes. A little secret just, there. What'd you just Ooh. pick up right there? What was that? Uh, that was a Megasphere, yeah. It basically get, it replenishes your health and armor. 
Okay. Up to, up to max. How you feeling? This is gonna, gonna be break? super hard. You guys so ready? We're about to Come fight. on, we gotta we gotta cheer him on. You and, go. And the one thing that I'm not doing is I'm not using the BFG. You just refuse. Because, because fuck that. I wanna kill them myself. You wanna be the BFG? Yes. I, like I am it. the BFG. <laughs> Oh. oh, such a nice blood punch. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't think his arm is going to be okay. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think he's going to be able to pitch anymore. All right, here he comes. Ah! The oh. Marauder. Oh, my God. Look how fast he blocks. You'll learn this when you play the game. We don't keep this a secret, but basically the strategy with the Marauder, the, the only way to beat the Marauder is to keep him at a mid-range distance. If he's, uh, if you're too far away, he throws his ax at you. If you're too close, he blasts you with his super shotgun. And uh, so you kind of have this really, really fun dance with him where you kind of keep him in the mid-range and uh, wait for his eyes to flash green. Otherwise, he'll pull that shield up. Because you have to stagger him, right? He'll oh, 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 God. Oh, my God. So he, yeah, he has a, he summons a fire wolf, and uh, the fire wolf is really deadly. Of course, yeah. <laughs> if you're Why gonna, not? If you're going to bring a wolf along, I <laughs> That's mean, right. light him up, I guess. Uh, he's, he's so deadly. hard. You got this. I bet Felix is watching right now and going, I'm counting. I'm counting these. Yeah, F Felix is like, I, I got, I can take it. <laughs> oh. oh, not enough ammo for that guy. Oh, there we go. Oh my God. That's actually a really important point though, Marty. You were telling us before, so with the chainsaw, of course, you cut down enemies to regain that really precious ammo. Yeah. But you can't just, it costs a different amount depending on who you're trying to cut down, correct? Yep, that, absolutely. Uh, so heavies heavies cost uh, three fuel cans, um, and, uh, and zombies cost one. So it is one of those strategies uh, that you'll use throughout. You can see there the, the Marauder's ah! eyes flashing green. Hugo missed the shot, but... Uh, but that's that's the key. You got to wait for those eyes to flash green and hit him quick with like uh, the super shotgun is great or the uh, the uh, ballista is another great weapon. Oh, oh my God, the dog! Dog! Oh. Oh. I love those bite animations. Oh, that was a great on shot. Two health here. Ooh. Oh my God, you need a glory kill it's like so there sweaty. We go. Look at that. Uh, there, there we go. go. There we go. Self back up. Back in. Oh the game. my God, but one hit. Ooh, Ten health. Ooh. Oh my god, the dog. <laughs> that dog got stuck. Good. <laughs> I love the bugs. <laughs> it's not a bug, it's a feature if it helps. Oh! oh! That axe! So that is so fast. So the only way you can get him, you can hurt him, is if you stay at a medium distance, get him to open up with that attack. Right there, yeah. So it's uh, what it is, is it's a, uh, it's a Jedi fight. It's a samurai fight. You have to maintain the distance, like a fencing, you know, you gotta fight, bait whatever him, they right? call and, yeah. and um, when he uh, uses his axe melee swipe, he'll flash green, and that's when you can hit him. But the, yeah. the, it's hard to maintain his distance, and then um, he'll summon his dog. And that is, is such a quick wolf. window. Yes, Where not a dog. dog. Seriously, we should have cut the fire Shih tzu wolf. is a dog. We should have cut all this from the game. <laughs> <laughs> Take it all out. It should have been... Uh, it's like a Pomeranian just comes by, licks you, gives you some help. Hey, remember, uh, remember that time when Hell Knights were Yeah, when Hell hard? Knights were tough? Yeah, like back in Doom 2016. Right. Now right? you... Good God. Oh my God. So Ooh. really quick, uh, every time I shoot <laughs> a horoscope at somebody's head, I get a, a AOE blast. So it's actually I could do damage to other things in the world. So Which I'm is an upgrade. That's like a master. Yeah, version. I'm I'm trying to hit uh, headshots uh, like crazy because they damage uh, players in the world. Nice. All right, all right, let's do this. He's going Come down. Come on, let's go. Oh God, oh God, the axe is awful. 
Boom. Ooh, there we go. Boom. There we go. That was two good hits. Oh, God. Get out of there. He's gonna Hugo showed you the tutorial on that loading screen. It is really important to pay attention to the tutorials, both when they pop up in the game and uh, and at the loading screen if right. you're having trouble. it's probably The game's probably going to tell you how to do it. Oh, oh, man. Just out of reach. I think you got it. This is Next it. One. This is it. Is this it? This is it. Oh, no, is this it? I feel Come it. On. We got Hugo Andretti Martin on the couch driving a Ferrari. This has got to be the run. That Hell Knight, that's an appetizer. Oh. Get him out of there. Ooh. Oh! He doesn't need that. He didn't need that spine. He didn't need it anymore. <laughs> All right, let's get away from these guys. And let's dance, just me and you. And I could use some ammo. Very nice. When you, when you face the Marauder in the game, a lot of you will probably figure out quickly that a good, pretty good strategy is to uh, use the BFG to clear out all of the other uh, enemies and just kind of face the Marauder, particularly the first couple times you see him one-on-one, uh, -on -one, because he is he is definitely tough. Yeah, there's so many. And you're seeing this at Nightmare right, difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's such a pressure unit that like he yeah. makes the fodder so much more dangerous because you can't pay attention to them. This is so stressful. It's such say, a different Jason, fight, though. Like, oh, God, I, I, I have no. to say, you know, when you play him in the game, he's so he's so different than what you're used to facing. It's such a fun change of pace. Uh, because you do, you get into yeah. this kind of squared off. Oh, oh my God. Ooh. That was a good dodge. Hey, there's right a there. clear strategy you have to follow here. Oh. Oh. Or not. Son of a bitch. Oh. <laughs> that was really close. Oh my God. That was like a 50 50 right there. Ah. But I love that. Okay, the Slayer is obviously a complete badass. It's hard to take him down. You have cyber demons coming at him that are like towers. Yeah. But yet. There's the showdown with somebody just your size. Yeah. Who's wearing kind of similar looking armor. Absolutely, yeah. It, it, I mean, even that, you know, I, I, you're making a good point. I, I think it, it it reinforces what a badass you are when you're you're facing off a corrupted sentinel warrior right. yeah. that is, you know, taking you toe to toe. Yeah, and, exactly. and then when you when you overcome, it just is, it's awesome. It's, a, it's almost a little bit of fun lore <clears throat> just in an enemy like that. I mean, everybody knows game recognized game. And when you see that guy, you're like, I'm preparing right now. I got to get all my ammo together. I got to get my attacks together. Oh, my God. I have to respect him. You got this it. Why? I feel it. It's yeah. about to happen. You're good, you're, good on, you're good on health. This is it. Nice. This is it. Oh, yeah. I can feel it. Look at that. That technique is so high level. We talked about that a little bit the other day. Yeah. But he basically burned him, what, with? His actual meat hook to get there. That's a super upgraded super shotgun. Yeah. And and uh, there it is. Yeah. Yes. Oh my. Oh my god. Now, oh no, now you gotta survive. You gotta survive. <laughs> Make it count. But yeah, you're you're uh, that's the upgraded meat hook. Right. So it puts him on awesome. fire as soon as you wow. go on. Let's, Let's let him hear it. My god. Uh but yeah, the upgraded meat hook has, uh, has is a flame meat hook, of course. Yeah. Of course. And uh, and so when you hook it to an enemy, it turn it, it lights them on fire just like your flame belch would. So when you do that damage, you get that burst of uh, of armor. It's fantastic. Yeah. The most Art. satisfying thing is to like triple and quadruple stack so much damage that they don't even like know what to do and it feels amazing it, it you're not breaking the game but it almost feels like you're breaking the game we actually have intentionally created moments with all the resource management and the dps that you could put out as you see is i'm like quadruple stacking like a bunch of things like i'll i'll uh, i have it upgraded so like i'll freeze a guy and when i do damage because i got the perk on i'll actually get health from uh, damaging frozen enemies so, uh, but when I burn guys, I get armor. So what I'll do is I'll freeze them, then burn them, then blow them up, or freeze them, burn them, and then chainsaw them. Like, you just get an absurd amount of DPS. You see all this stuff coming back at you. And then when you have uh, the end game upgrades, you can actually uh, uh, 
I'm like shaking. The <laughs> <laughs> so intense. You, you can actually, uh, as you max out your health and your armor, it'll fill your blood punch meter. Now, one of the things that you saw there that was um, uh, kind of like next level gameplay is that I'm constantly using my blood punch. The blood punch is critical. So, so we, we, we really want to, uh, you know, have you DPS comboing and then finishing guys off. I guess we're going to stop there. The, the uh, finishing guys off with your blood punch when you're point blank and being able to set things up with, like, throwing grenades. And, uh, well, we're not going to stop. We're going to actually show some key art. But, yeah, yeah, no, no, we're not done. <laughs> I mean, I, to be honest, I just want to sit here and play for, like, the whole thing. That, that was really fun. You guys are going to be playing in three weeks.